I made it here. Everything that I've read online, we're just gonna take some quick uh, guesses here. I'm not a drag racer by any means again. Can't really do this with one hand, but we are at 10. So driver's side and passenger side are both at 10 PSI. And let's see where we go. So um, I'm probably not gonna try to launch it very much here. We're just gonna see what comes out. I'm trying to just do a point A to B here. I've got second gear dialed kind of the same as it is on the street. like that holy hell wow all right so here's the time slip uh, I'm ignoring the reaction. I'm just trying to see if I can get some 60 foot some better time. So 192760, 8628 uh, ET with a 90.12 mile per hour. And I'm just hitting the limiter on third. And that's pretty much 99 mile, 90 to 91 miles an hour. So looking at the data logs here, my boost by gear, my, my chart that I built is not exact on. Max boost that I built is 10 pounds in second gear. So what I'm going to do is. I could just rebuild this table right now. Um, what I'm going to do actually though is just increase this. I'm just going to leave the table alone and just kind of increase this the way it is right now. So I'm going to take everything here in second gear and we're just going to increase it. Instead of asking for 11 pounds, which is what I asked for, it gave me 10. I'm going to ask for 13 max. And third and fourth. I'm gonna get ask it for 16 and a half. Now it did make 17, um, probably because it has more traction, but we'll see here. 16 and a half. Fifth gear, don't care about, not going into it. And uh, gonna close that up. I'm not gonna mess with the air to fuels yet until I can get the boost, is kind of where she's at. Top in there, plugged in. There we go. We're gonna hit the upload button. Map uploaded, and I'm also going to go to download from the ECU, and I'm going to delete all of these now, just so I have a fresh data logs to look after the track. down to seven and a half right seven, yeah seven and a half pounds in the tires second gear just had i think I, i'll have to check the data log but i gave it um 10 no i think i gave it it should log at like 15 but i shift so slow like uh it drops like four thousand 
RPMs at least, making the sandwiches. Um, Cover your headlights. It spools up quick enough, but you can, they, you probably can't hear it in the video, but in person, it, it, uh, it spools up, like you can literally hear it fall out of boost and you hear, you hear the turbo scream to get back up there, and it gets up there quick. It just, it's still, it's, you know, it could be better. Thanks, man. Yeah, man. Well, and first gear we gave it, hell yeah, oh, hell yeah. That was it, higher launch. Higher launch and a uh, 169, 60 foot. Mile per hour was only 86, but ET was an 84. So the, the short track is good. I just need to be up. The ET is down. I just need to. I just need to be able to shift. All right, so here we are looking at the map. Uh, this is basically first gear. You can kind of see second gear and then third gear, right? So let's just kind of choose third gear. We'll just choose right there. I just clicked on it. 16.1 pounds of boost, uh, 6,200 RPMs, uh, 11 degrees of timing, and the temperature, the coolant temp is 194, and the intake temp is 144 with 11.5 air to fuel. So the intake temp, because it was so high right now, the ECU is just retarding timing because it sees the intake temp is so high. So 11 degrees is what we're seeing there. And the actual map is calling for basically 15 at that point. So again, we said we're at 16.1 pounds. There's 16 pounds of boost. It's calling for 15. So everywhere through this entire map at this point now, going through all the logs that I had and this log, I mean, I can just click, and we'll just click whatever second gear. We can click right there, 13.6 pounds. I'm trying to get a number that we don't have to worry about any interpolation situation let's just go towards the end of the map there uh, even if we just show 17 pounds uh, it says 10 is what the ignition should be 17 I mean it's if you look it's I don't boost 21 pounds but if I were to the timing right now on the map is 12 degrees 12 and a half degrees and I'm at 10 I mean it was literally retarding four maybe even up to five degrees of timing throughout this entire night all right so I was pulled up to like five degrees of timing some, at some points during the map, and I realized that, and I said, okay, you know, let's just try to get the 60 foot dialed in. You know, I don't, I have enough power, even with five degrees or four degrees of timing pulled, I should sell enough power to get a much better 60 foot with these slicks. And I did. I was able to consistently get one six, one sevens out of it, and I know I can get better. It's a matter of just driving. I think I only got like seven runs in that day, um, and it is what it is. I was just trying to have a good time. So I am curious of any comments or, you know, concerns that you saw in the video of like how I was driving. If you have any input, I'll take them. But, uh, so I only started looking at it because I realized like, man, like I was, I was still trapping 91 at the beginning of the night. And I was like, man, what's going on? It's the same mile per hour as, you know, before I've made exponentially more power and the car feels way better. But it's just a mixture of me shifting so slow as usual, which we need to work on that still. And, uh, just the degrees of time being pulled out. So the thing is why I shift so slow, it's a matter of A, me, and then B, it feels like when I get there, you know, to get in it, let's just say second gear, it feels like it almost just doesn't want to go in. I could probably force it, but it doesn't feel like it wants to go in. And then it kind of just does when the revs drop back down. So I need to figure that out. It might be just a small adjustment on the clutch cable. Uh, if that's the case, you know, I'll address that, whatever, simple. But uh, hopefully next time I'll be able to get a little more better footage for you, so I apologize for that. I am now signed up for an autocross uh, track uh, in the middle of September, I think September 12th. So stay tuned for that. That'll be super exciting, I think. I've got a plan with two cameras and, and some other stuff being logged just to have a nice view of the track. That is pretty much what I've been dying to do. So I'm still working on some things now to get you know cooling issues down. Like those intake temps, they were just so high because just sitting in the pits, just waiting, and, the, and it was just so hot. I just could not get everything you know under control. So I've got some solutions for that. Stay tuned for videos on that, and uh, hope you guys have a good week. Uh -huh.